Hello, and welcome to Vitrec. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to use a Vitrec V76 iPod tester with a built-in high voltage scanner. The V76 can test up to eight different devices for iPod and continuity. It will do either AC iPod or DC iPod or insulation resistance in addition to the continuity measurement. So, we have a sequence program for eight devices under test, and I'm going to show you how these devices are hooked up. Okay, demonstrate that one. Okay, this is the rear panel of a V76. It shows that we have three terminal blocks. These are high voltage terminal blocks. Each one has eight positions. This is the high pot terminal block, the continuity terminal block, and the return terminal block. On this unit over here, I can show you how we have it set up. The device under test is an AC power inlet where we're testing high pot and continuity. The high pot is between the line and neutral terminals to the earth terminal, and the continuity is from the earth terminal to the earth ground lead. These, these test points are all interconnected through these terminals. And then since we're testing eight devices, we have all eight devices connected right here. Okay, now that we have eight devices connected, we're going to run a, a multiple step test that will do iPod and continuity on each device automatically. All right, we just ran a multiple step test on eight devices. We have the overall results, which if every device passed. But we can go in and look at the actual readings for each device under. This display shows you the test voltage and the leakage current, which is 77 microamps for device number one. It also shows you the contact or lead resistance uh, of device number one, which is 110 milliohms with a one ohm maximum limit. You can step back through each device and look at the actual readings as well as the pass fail status for that device. And reset to the, to the ready position with the touch of a single button. All right, so we're gonna take a closer look at the test sequence which can be entered through the front panel or by using quick test software. If I press the edit sequence button, we can see each step. The first step, since this is a multi-point test, is a switch step to select which positions we're gonna route the voltages to. This is the actual parameters for the first test, which is the AC high pot test. And then we're doing another switch step to set up the continuity, followed by the actual continuity test with the parameters for it. So it's simply that easy. You, you set up the switch, then the test, and then the parameters. And you save it. So here we go, test sequence number one. And that's how easy it is to set up a, a test. Okay, you have just seen a demonstration of the Vitrec V76 testing eight devices with the touch of a button. You can visit Vitrec.com for more information on the V76. And thank you for watching this demonstration.